In today's video, I'm showing you 10 After Effects hacks that will drastically speed up your workflow. These are the kind of tips that will have you thinking, why didn't anyone tell me this earlier? Why didn't you tell me? We'll start with the obvious ones and end with something not even Adobe talks about. Let's get into it. First things first, let's get your After Effects settings straight. Under Preferences, turn off the annoying Start screen for faster launch and enable default spatial interpolation to linear so your position keyframes move in straight lines instead of weird curves. Check center anchor point in new shape layers. This makes sure your anchor points are centered to the shape, not the whole composition. Set your disk cache to at least 100 gigabytes, ideally on an SSD, to keep After Effects snappy by storing more pre-rendered previews. And once you're done with the project, clean up that cache by going to edit, purge, all memory disk and cache. When it comes to workspaces, one size definitely doesn't fit all. Not every layout works for every workflow or person. Set up custom workspaces for different tasks like animation, templates or different video formats, so your panels and plugins are always where you need them. You know that moment in After Effects when you think there has to be a better way to do this. Well, there usually is, and it's called plugins and scripts. These are tools built by brilliant people to make our lives easier. Once you start using them, they will become a permanent part of your workflow. Speaking from experience. For example, with this copy, you can copy and paste animation curves. Flow allows you to save your favorite curves and apply them with one click. With FX Cancel, search and apply effects instantly. And with Overlord, you can transfer vectors from Illustrator straight into After Effects. If you need a detailed list of plugins that save me a ton of time, I made a video covering 10 non-negotiables for every After Effects user. I leave a link down below. Keyboard shortcuts are a must for anyone using After Effects. Yes, there are a lot of them, but the earlier you learn them, the faster and happier you'll be. And I'm not talking about undo, redo, copy and paste, I mean some really cool stuff. Like copy with property links, parent with inherited properties, replace media, center anchor point or apply last used effect. Obviously, I won't cover all of them here, but you can check out our video on 45 essential After Effects shortcuts by clicking the card above. Best part, you can customize any shortcuts in Edit, Keyboard, Shortcuts. And if you got a mouse with extra buttons, use that to your advantage and map your most used actions for even quicker access. You know that moment when you hit spacebar and your previews start fighting for life? Thousands of layers, effects, rigs, it all adds up. Here are 5 ways to at least try to prevent that from happening. Drop your preview resolution, I usually go with quarter. Solo layers to isolate what you're working on. Use a region of interest to preview just one section of the comp. Pre-render heavy comps like backgrounds or locked screens as MP4 or MOE. And the most overlooked, skip every second frame during preview. And bonus tip, turn off motion blur and heavy effects while working and flip them back on before export. Most After Effects users ignore markers, not because they're useless, but because they don't know when to use them. Here's when they come super useful. Mark the start and end of scenes or where transitions hit, based on voiceover or any map. You can name them for even easier navigation. And here's something that helped me a lot, especially when the animation depends on music and beats. Find the right music before you start animating. Drop markers on bars and beats, sync scenes and transition to those points. This makes your animations 10 times cooler, like a kid with a light up sneaker school. While we're talking about syncing animation with audio, we have to mention time remap and time stretch. Probably the most overlooked features in After Effects. Let's say you finished an explainer video syncing everything perfectly to voiceover or music. And then the client wants to tweak the script. You already know that even a two second change can throw everything off. Instead of shifting keyframes scene by scene, just hold Option and drag the comp's out point to match the new time. For even better control, use Time Remap to speed up or slow down specific sections. Perfect for slow motions or transition ramps. And if you want your comp to loop endlessly, don't copy it a hundred times, just enable time remapping and add the loop out expression. Super handy for background animations or subtle looping elements. This one's definitely underrated, but so powerful. In the timeline panel, you can use the search bar to find the layer names, effects, 
properties and even expressions. It's the fastest way to isolate a single property or effect across multiple layers. In the project panel, you can quickly find compositions, assets, missing files, whatever you need. I heard this amazing advice from the great Ben Marriott and I just had to include it. Sometimes the fastest way to work in After Effects is to not use After Effects. Here's what I mean. Start with pen and paper, plan your storyboard before jumping in blind. If you need a complex design, create it in Illustrator, then import or use Overlord to send it straight into After Effects. Start with static scenes, sync them to music or voiceover, then animate. For sound design or video editing, use Premiere Pro. Trust me, it's way faster. For audio tweaks, use Audition. For 3D, Blender, Cinema 4D or anything else works way better. After Effects is powerful, but it's not a Swiss Army knife. The more tools you master, the faster and easier your job gets. And last, but definitely not least, here are four speed hacks hiding in plain sight. First up, instead of digging through pre-comps manually, use the comp flowchart to visualize your entire project structure. Then press shift plus escape to quickly cycle through them. Need to stagger your layers? Right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers. After Effects will auto stagger everything with perfect timing. You can even add overlap for transitions. Want an effect to apply to just part of a layer? Add the effect, draw a mask, open compositing options and link the mask. It's clean, powerful and criminally underused. If you want to animate along a path in seconds, copy any shape, paste it into a layer's position property and enable auto-orient to path. Now your layer glides smoothly along that curve. And while we're talking gliding, try row across time for turning choppy keyframes into continuous motion. And that wraps up our list of 10 After Effects speed hacks you wish you knew earlier. Just a friendly reminder, even if you master everything we covered, great animation still takes time. You simply need to put tens of hundreds of hours to create something truly great. But if this video helped you save even a few hours this week, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in two weeks.